Since the awakening of human knowledge, we've come to understand things through the answers to six basic questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. These questions, if pursued with dedication and competence, promise to lead to the truth. So I had a friend who committed suicide. But when my own friend took her life, so much of what I thought to be true no longer made sense. I knew that if she had been given a second chance, she wouldn't have done it. That it was an accident in some ways. Yeah, I would disagree with you. Well, you'd have to examine it. I can tell you there's always signs. There's always clues. Always, always, always. At the time of my friend's death, Las Vegas had the highest suicide rate in the entire country. Let's check out this fucking view here. Shit! Levi Presley killed himself by jumping from the observation deck of the stratosphere. There were 295 suicides in Clark County. Levi was one of those. Just three days before Levi died, the United States Senate supported a bill that would move the nation's nuclear waste to a mountain just outside of Las Vegas with unknown unknowns. The ones we don't know, we don't know. You belong to the generation that will manage high-level nuclear waste. Wow. 70,000 tons of the most lethal atomic left. 70,000 tons of death. I love America. If the truth came up, they'd all be screwed. What we're running up against is the limitation of human knowledge. We don't want to hear this. Because there have been some philosophers who committed suicide thinking about questions like that. The who, what, where, and how, there are answers to those, not the why. Let me ask you this. What will you do if you do find out? This much we know.